Well, we've seen videos around the country of people having meltdowns on planes, and you don't want your kid having one, too. So our parenting expert, Jenny Reimold, is back. This time, she's talking about how to make sure your kids have a calm experience on a plane. I know you've had nightmare experiences. Had many nightmares. Because I've seen the posts, and, and that's one of the first things when we became friends that I noticed. So um, I, I think, trust me when I say this, you should take to heart everything she's about to say. All right, your first step is that you say you have to start with a family-friendly airline, and you have several that you really believe that are the best. Yeah, there are definitely airlines that have more family-friendly policies. I love JetBlue because they allow parents to board first with their children. They have TV screens in the back of every single headset, and they have great snacks. Southwest is another great one because you always know you're boarding between A and B. Your kids never get separated from you, and they're very relaxed. So those are my two top favorites. And here's the thing. We're staying away from the negative stuff, but I have to tell you, there's been nightmares for you on other airlines have been that many. aren't family-friendly. So when you say that these are good, I mean, you know from experience. Right. I have had my strollers taken from me. I've had all kinds of things. So JetBlue and Southwest have definitely been my favorite. All right. Okay. So the next thing is fly early. Have the kids sleep in their travel clothes? Right. So the night before, I have my kids sleep in a knit outfit. So when we get up early, and I try to take the first flights of Aerobus, available. It's a headache for parents, but it's great for kids because they're groggy and they will sleep. And you're less likely to have delays when you're the first or second flight out in the morning. All right, so the next one is pack a uh, an activity bag separate from a diaper bag and include new toys. And you have some examples up here. Right. I okay. always pack at least three new dollar store or Target bin toys because once you, the kids have their own toys, the novelty for that has worn off. So three new toys Target has great ones in their dollar bin for travel. Yep. These are fun little things for a yeah, dollar. I know, like, even I was playing with this. You know, remember this? Like, and you, you know, put it on your face and you make like, little face things. So just, this is a dollar? A dollar. A dollar. And load new things on your iPad for your kids. New movies, new shows. Don't give them the same old thing because they're going to be bored. Okay, and, and that's for each kid. Correct. You wanna, so that way they're not fighting with each other. Correct. And each kid has their own stuff. Correct. All right, and, and like you said, it's different because it, when it's new. It is, it, when it's new, I can promise you that their engagement will be longer and more intense if, if they're opening things and everything is brand new for them to play with. All right, pack smart. There's this, something called the trunky. I know she oh. messaged me late last night, and that, and I mean, and I know you were excited about this. What is a trunky? A trunky is a suitcase that is also a scooter. So you can pull it through the airport with your kid when you're waiting to board. Oh, they, they can ride it? them. You sit on it. Can I put it yeah, on there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll put it. Yeah. And we can show that you, the kids sit on top of it, and you can just wheel it through the airport. Oh, that's perfect. It is genius. And, you, and how is it for fitting stuff? It is great. I pin and pack about four or five days worth of things in there, and I can open it real quick mm -hmm. and show you. Yeah. It's pretty deep pockets. Oh, that's pretty good. A little yeah. Little pocket for yeah, underwear like and socks. Yep. It's great. And my other secret mm -hmm. are these JL child dress bags that you can get from Bye Bye Baby. So, is this this one? Yes. So, so I, I saw you walk in with this, bag. right? Right. I'm going to show this because... Yes. It's a backpack. So, this is a... It's a backpack. But you, and so this will be really helpful. I mean, like, it's really a backpack. You it's can... a backpack, but the great thing about car seat bags is they fly free. So you can stick boots, diapers, oh. anything bulky. Just stuff it in there, when right? When you are shopping and you don't have room in the suitcase, everything that I buy goes back home in this. Oh, and, it flies and that flies free? free? Yes. And, and is that that's on Southwest and JetBlue? No, that's or all, all airlines. airlines have car seat okay, that's bags fantastic. fly free. All right, and then we have one more. I know one more tip that you wanted to say. Earplug. <laughs> This, these gift bags. Um, these will go to uh, these earplug gift bags that you give out to everyone around you. I mean, do you do the just all the rows, basically touching your On row? On long flights, and when I know my children maybe haven't had the best day, it's earplugs, a pack of gum, and a little note from my child that I write saying, I'm sorry if we have a meltdown. My mom's trying her best. Please excuse any misbehaviors. <laughs> have a nice flight. But it lets people know that you're and buy trying. buy my mother some wine. Right. <laughs> You're trying, and they're more likely to help you. <laughs> All right, very good. And uh, by the way, Jenny is going to be on River City Live today, coming up at 11 a.m., and you're talking about... Packing your children. Packing your children. So, um, it, and honestly, she's brought me things to help me pack just myself and my one kid. So if you have one to seven like she does, she's going to have some great advice coming up on River City Live at 11. All right, so um, to hear these tips again, or to share them with someone that you know is going to be traveling by plane with their little ones, you can send them this video. We're going to have it on the morning show page of newsforjax.com a little bit later. Jen?